All right, deploying your robot applications directly from GitHub is just awesome, thanks to my little glitch app here. So when you go to probot.glitch.me, um, you will directly get a new Node.js instance. It will redirect you to a remix URL, so this is already yours. And when you click on show, it will show you my little wizard app, which is just a form here. And in here, you can enter a URL of a Probot app. So I do the hoodie HQ first time as bot. But like in future, we should totally make like a search in here, which searches through the Probot's featured applications to make this nicer. Um, then I need to create a new GitHub application and I already copy this URL here, which I will need to enter. So when I say first timers, but test, and then I put in the URL to the webhook secret, uh, webhook URL secret. Well, I just put in secret for now. And now what we need is repository content, read only each time a new branch gets created, we need to get notified. And then we need to be able to create issues. I think that should be it. Only on my account, that's okay. All right, and now I can generate my key. And I download it. And now I go back to my form. So in here I put in secret because that's what I entered before. Now I need my ID, which is 508, and I can select the private key that I've just generated. I create my glitch. Um, okay, this is not a valid URL, thank you. All right, okay, looks how it, looked. Uh, looks how it worked. <laughs> so what it does is it basically overrides itself. It just deleted the wizard application and just, um, you know, downloaded the repository from GitHub. And if everything goes well, then it should just be able, yeah, it's just like restarting the app now. So that's looking fine. And if I go like basically reload, it now shows me the error, which is good. And now, let me try this out. So I install my app on my little sandbox repository here. And then I go to my repository. And I hope this will work. Um, okay, I edit this file. And I create a new branch which starts with first timers test propose file change um, boom <laughs> that's it that's just the app that i deployed without ever touching a terminal without ever writing any code isn't that cool